Hello and welcome to my garden. Today I will be giving you a full garden tour. Now this is the main path and it divides the garden in half. And then I've divided it again so that it gives me four parts. And in this corner behind the U I have a large terrace which provides shade in summer. And over there I have a nice little seating area to drink a cup of tea in the morning. And over there I have my vegetable garden. And here I have the box domes with the white border behind it. And in front of it there is a large terrace which is very sunny in summer. And there is my little potting table and my little cold frame as well. So let's have a look at the back of the garden. Now this is my favorite part of the garden to drink a cup of tea. Early in the morning you already have sunshine here and you're surrounded by these lovely plants. Now a lot of different things growing in here. I have roses in apricots and soft pink tones and then I have a lot of nepitas which attract a lot of bees so it's buzzing with bees here uh, in summer and then I have a lot of foxgloves. In winter I have the hellebores and a lot of bulbs. I have the daffodils and tulips and I have Spanish hyacinths. And then end of summer I have my dahlias and I grow some annuals as well. So we'll be adding some cosmos uh, also in a soft pink color. So this is really a nice area to sit with lots of colors and interest. Now this is the large terrace and it is a bit messy at the moment. Um, over here I have all my dahlias because there's still a risk of frost so I've put them into a little polytunnel and because I don't have a greenhouse I can't put them in there so now they're nice and warm and protected over here. Over here I have my strawberries and they will go to the other terrace because there's more sunshine over there and then here I have some other bulbs as well, some eucomas and I have some nerines uh, over there and a gross a brisa for, uh, as a cut flower. And then I have potted up some roses that I had still in the garden and then I have no idea where to go. So it's a bit of a nursery instead of a terrace at the moment. So this is the main path of the garden and on both sides I have white roses growing and this is a variety called Snow Witchen and it starts flowering in June to well into the winter. And between them and in front of them I have lavender growing and it's really nice to smell the scent of the lavender when you walk on this path. So behind me there is the white border, well it started out as a white border uh, but then I added some of the hellebores to give me a little bit more interest in winter. Uh, but when they're gone the rest of the border is fully white flowers only. So uh, now I have over here have some white daffodils. Um, here I have the white roses, a variety called Snewitchen. And then over here and over there another group, I have a group of white foxgloves. And then I've added another white hydrangea and there's one over there as well. So it's mainly white flowers. And then a lot of Aquilegia have self-sown over here. Uh, I had one plant and now I have many. And I don't know what the variety is called but it's a bit lime green white color. Really beautiful. So over here I have the box domes. Uh, because I want to have a little bit calm in the garden as well and I think it's uh, nice with the backdrop of white flowers. So I started with box domes only and I've added a few thyme domes as well but thyme doesn't do very well here because it's very wet in the winter so most of them died so I've taken them out 
and now to replace them with another thyme. It's more of a ground cover, so fingers crossed that one will work well. And then I've added a few of the hellebores that I bought earlier. They were in the terracotta pots first, but now I've added them here between the bucks because I think it's really nice to have a little bit more interest in winter and something to look at from the kitchen window. So that adds a little bit of color. So let's have a look at the vegetable garden. Now lots of things are going on in the vegetable garden. I don't even know where to start, but uh, let's start in the polytunnel. This one is packed with lettuce and the romaine salad is almost ready to harvest. And these ones, the little corn salads, are already start bolting, so I really need to harvest those. And then over there as well, I have my tomato seedlings. They are doing really well, and, uh, but it's still too cold to put them outside into the vegetable garden. So they have to stay a little bit longer in there. And uh, behind them, I have my peas and they're growing really well onto the trellis. And in front of them, I have some more strawberries growing. That one is a variety called Mara de Bra. And then uh, over here in front, um, over here I have my radish and they finally start growing a little bit better. They're now already six weeks old and usually you can almost harvest them but they still have to grow a little bit more. And then over here I have my carrots. They're also very tiny. I think it's because of the cold weather we had here in uh, spring. So. And uh, over here my garlic is starting to grow and then the onions uh, at the back of them. And so and then over here. So this is my little herb garden. I still have to sow some herbs in here. Uh, but my gooseberries are doing really well. And they already start flowering so fingers crossed and hopefully I have some nice berries to harvest this year. Behind the polytunnel I have another container with strawberries and uh, my raspberries of course and they're doing really well so they're quite happy over there. In this bed I have my turnips, they are finally starting to grow a little bit better but they really suffered from the cold. And over here I have my beetroot that I planted out just a few days ago and they're really nicely established. So this is kind of a mixed bed. Um, I have some lovely herbs growing here for tea. And in front of it, I have some strawberries, a variety that I've never grown before. It is called Magnum. So looking forward to tasting these ones. Um, they already have flowers and some tiny berries as well. So um, oh, this is my rocket or what's left of it. I've cut it back and now it's starting to regrow. And behind it I have some parsley and some more mint as well. And behind me I have an apricot tree and it had a lot of blossom this spring. So hopefully I have some nice apricots to harvest. I had an awesome. My cold frame is packed with seedlings that can't be planted outside in the garden just yet. There's still a risk of frost, so they had to stay in the cold frame. But it is a lovely sunny day, so the zinnias that I had on my windowsill, they can go outside for a while, but tonight they go back inside. So over here I have these lovely courgette plants, they're doing really well. And these are my cucumbers and the butternut squashes, really lovely plants as well. So I have lots of snapdragons in here that I have to prick out as well as the cosmos, uh, as well as the calendulas. They're getting really big so they really need to be pricked out anytime soon. And over here I have my little chili plants. Really looking forward to harvesting those this year. So hopefully we get better temperatures soon so that everything can go outside and there's no risk of frost anymore. Mm -hmm. 
Many of my spring bulbs have finished flowering, but there's still a nice selection of flowers on my potting table. So I have the white muscaris, uh, the snakes at fertilities that I really enjoy, and I have these Spanish bluebells. I think they're really pretty. I hope you enjoyed this garden tour. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. I have a large terrace which gives such... Now let's begin in at the back of whatever. <laughs> and here I have the box domes with the white border in the back of it. That doesn't sound good. <laughs> uh, for a nice cup of coffee in the morning. Ik drink geen koffie, ik drink altijd thee. Nou, I have... Wat ga ik zeggen eigenlijk? And you feel far, quite, whatever, secluded, included, surrounded. Huh. And then I will be adding some annuals as well, like the cosmos and dahlias. And dahlia isn't an annual. Now this is the large terrace and it is quite a... So over here I have my strawberries, they will go to the other terrace wherever they have a... <laughs> so... Car. So this is the main path of the garden and on both sides I have right... Roses? <laughs> gives a really nice walkway to walk through and with the smell of the lavender and I'm just rambling like an idiot. Tea called Snow Witchin, which grows really really well and flowers from June too. And it flowers really well. It starts flowering in June to the first hit frost hits them. Almost good. And they flower really well. They start flowering in June till the first frost hits them in winter. Moet iets anders verzinnen, want dit gaat niet werken. Beautiful white flowers, and it starts flowering in June till well into the this winter. How much can it be? And if um, and behind the polytunnel, I have another, another what? So, <laughs> flowers, so hopefully I will have some nice, there. <laughs> Flowering, so hopefully I will have a nice harvest of berries this year. Why does it have to beep? That was a nice car and uh, it had really lovely flowers in spring, uh, hopefully bleh. And behind me I have an apricot tree growing and uh, it had a lot of flowers, flowers, blossom. And behind me I have an apricot tree, it had a lot of blossom this spring. Between them I have lavenders growing and I really like the scent of it, scent of it. Nee, ik moest die kant op. <laughs> and then I've added... Um, <laughs> and then I've added a white hydrangea. And there's lots of uh, aquilegia amongst 
all the other plants. Plants they self sowed. It is I don't know what variety is called, but it is a bit green white flowers. Uh, but the thyme don't grow well. Blech. Blech. Oh. And when I started, I had box domes with. Blech. <laughs> Many, no, over there I have some turnips, yeah. and we have some noise, nice noise. It's, it's lovely weather, so they can go outside for now, and there's noise, there's noise again, lots of it, loads of it. My little polytunnel is absolutely packed with seedlings, there's no space left, so, um, Noise. Nice noise. My little, my little cold frame is absolutely packed with seedlings. There's no space left. And, um, but it's still too cold to put them outside. So there's an airplane. Let's shut off this recording. It is still way too cold to put these plant seedlings outside. Yeah. Noise. So they have to stay into the cold frame and uh, my zinnias, that wasn't what I wanted to say. My, my cold frame is, my cold, so that everything can go outside and there's no risk. Blah.